you see France on our way to Cuba, we're just approaching Paris now. And it's freezing cold. So this is a view of Havana. Uh, its history is uh, <laughs> it's just something else. It's gradually recovering from a severe depression following the collapse of the Soviet Union, which is one of its main supporters. And as we've driven here, we've passed all sorts of interesting buildings. That building was the, uh, the American Hilton, which is now owned by the government. That building over there was the American Embassy, which is uh, the one supposedly being targeted by death rays, or whatever they were called, uh, according to President Trump. And the uh, Cubans were directing some ray at them, which affected the, the hearing of the high pitch thing made all the American employees ill. It was a bit of a rumpus. That building over there was supposed to be the National Bank in Batista's days, but they realised, of course, that when he went, uh, there wasn't going to be such a thing, so it's now a hospital. Over there are the sort of a thing with a dome on, sort of presidential building of some description, as is that other one there with a dome. So, this is the, uh, the top of the fort on the opposite side of the bay from Havana with this ancient lump of armament. But there's one modern lump <laughs> over there. Again, it's not now used. Sort of cannon to the left and cannon to the right, there's cannon everywhere. <laughs> and over there, where those pyramidal tents are, there's a Havana book fair. Kids playing some game, I don't know what it is. A team, you just have to grab that and drag it to your end without being touched, I think. I think that's the, uh, the name of the game. And they're at it again. Fascinating. This used to be the home of the Governor General. That's particularly interesting. But what is interesting is the roadway is made of blocks of wood, mahogany so that the uh, noise of the carriages was muffled rather than running over stone cobbles. He's playing a sort of low jawbone of a horse up there. Interesting streets of the balconies and some in good condition, some absolutely decrepit. Up there was a mesquite, um, muslin. This, 
an opposite, the uh, Casa de les Arabes, which is obviously a Muslim quarter. So we come into this big square. It's a shipping terminus by the looks of it. Got some nice buildings and some nice modern art. Yeah. Very different. Yeah, so this is the uh, cruise town. This is where the cruise ships all dock when they come to Havana. On the side of that building there. Something about is. Uh, this guy, this statue, I don't know what you put your foot on his toe and then grab his beard. He was a, a bit of a madman, this fella. He came from Spain, uh, following the collapse of the Spanish Empire. And he uh, was accused of stealing something and eventually, he was cleared, but eventually by the time they sorted out, he got a bit daft. But he became very famous, and when he died, they uh, they built this statue to him here. Uh, ignore the guy on the left. <laughs> He's going to tap me some money in a minute. A sort of quick example of recycling. Sorry. A wizard. All right. Whoever a wizard might be. <laughs> Health and safety in mind. <laughs> Fascinating, nevertheless. Well, this is where we are in Havana, and uh, in the road in the middle here is the last remains of a, an aqueduct which brought water. You can see it there with a accompanying can. I say to everybody. It's nice that they've returned it. You could just as easily have covered it up. I think this hotel used to be a monastery or thought that was some kind of palace. They just got this interesting monk outside made a couple of sheets. And a quartet inside all playing some kind of classical music. Have some Jewish thing, but it does have some lovely stained glass inside, particularly the ceiling, which I'll go in and have a look at now. Assuming I don't get stopped. Mm, so far, so good. Tiffany lamp, which I suspect is probably original. Yes, it is. It's a, an original Tiffany lamp. These pillars. This one little stained glass above the door, and that sort of art deco 
Chandelier. Hotel Raoul. This symbol has some significance for Jewish people. But, uh, I don't know what it is, but somebody no doubt will tell me. This is screwed to the door, John. This was the Havana gun shop, which of course uh, run by the Americans, as you can see there by the DuPont sign, but of course during the revolution in 1959, or leading up to the revolution, Fredo Castro and his merry men uh, obviously came here to get arms for the revolution, and inside there are lots of guns which have been presented to him over the years before his death. So it's everything there, pump action shotguns, everything you can imagine down here, causing mayhem. They're amazing, some of them, but surprisingly they're all shotguns. There's a lot of uh, names and other bits and bobs in the bottom here. She can also do a lot of machine. Whoa, boy, nice, eh? Made very famous by Bowie. I think he died in the... Uh, in Mexico. No English guns. These are the guns that belong to Che Guevara. This one here, which I think is a flashing shot. She's a sniper's rifle. There's a fair number of pistols as well. Derringers and uh, something even bigger. That's an interesting thing there. A sort of three-chambered job. That looks like a coal it's going at the top. This is Cathedral Square in Havana, and this is the, uh, the cathedral, which is built in Cuban Baroque, which is, it's a very soft stone, so they couldn't carve it into the sort of European Baroque, otherwise it was far more detail, which it would just crumble away. <laughs> It's a lovely colour. <laughs> this is this magnificent chandelier. Look at that. These wonderful shadows of this colonnade and the uh, cathedral in that bright sunshine behind. Everybody shouting from the hot sun. And we find the, uh, the facades of many of these buildings are these wonderful courtyards. This is just one example. Open to the sky. Oh, that's really beautiful. There's a well there. And it's probably not used now. There's a tremendous lineup of all American machinery. Just one after the other, all the way along here.
You could go on forever doing it. But they are quite stunning. Cars are a really expensive commodity in uh, in Cuba. And lots of larders. And a little Citroen there. And these sort of classic American cars are about fifty thousand dollars a piece. In fact, in Cuba, you can pay ten thousand dollars for a half decent larder. <laughs> seems seems extraordinary when you consider how little these people earn. They don't worry about greenhouse gases here. <laughs> Pouring out carbon monoxide by the ton. The other popular car is this little Polsky Fiat, made in Poland. Again, you're looking at five, eight thousand dollars for one of those. Incredible lineup. There's another one just cruising past. There must be a fair amount of money to be made in body shop repair. And this thing's a V8. Because many of them are just looking at these. <laughs> Not that you'd want one. This is a military building. You're probably not supposed to photograph it, but really this. It's got this big sort of. It's not exactly a mural. This is uh, Che Guevara, hero of the revolution. I think he was killed in Bolivia. I couldn't swear to it. And over there on that building is another one whose name I can't remember. But he was a friend of uh, Che Guevara's. Uh, che Guevara named one of his children after him. And this is Revolution Square. Uh, Castro used to stand up there where that statue is there. And give, very long speeches. I think his record was eight hours. In front of that rather fascinating uh, column, whatever it is. A million people used to gather here to listen to these speeches. Now it's remarkably quiet. There's a couple of the houses being abandoned by the Americans. Some of them have been really well done up. They're very, very expensive. And look at the state of this one. This uh, wonderful mansion with trees growing out of it and everything. What a shame. There are people living in it. Well, the top of that tower has collapsed, all that balustrade on the top is all falling down, the balcony further down has all collapsed. This is John Lennon's statue in the uh, park in uh, Havana, with his glasses on. People keep stealing the glasses, they tried all sorts of things, welding them on and so on, but they, uh, now there's a young lady, brings a pair of spectacles, puts them on, stays with it all day, and takes them home with them at night. <laughs> That's a huge building over there, a sort of strange tower on it. It's in fact the Soviet embassy.
You can see the sneaky beaky satellite dishes on the roof, communication dishes on the roof there. Well, having a trail round Havana this afternoon, and very enjoyable it was too. Uh, tonight at quarter past nine, there's an optional excursion to go to the Club Tropicana to see their show, which is apparently internationally famous. And uh, it's uh, in sterling, it's 66 pounds. Uh, and then tomorrow we have a trip on the bus again, an optional excursion, which is to the Vinales Valley, which is a valley with all kinds of limestone formations and caves in it. And um, the journey there apparently is very, very scenic. And that is 48 pounds. <laughs> 